All right, traders, a very warm welcome. I am Devang Mehra from the Financial Analyst, and I'm here to give you a quick update about the markets. It's 12:20 p.m. as I record this video, so I want to just tell you a little, some very important points. So we'll see if they work out to be true when we come in the post market. But I just want want you to be uh, careful. See, it's the monthly expiry. I've been telling you again and again. It's the monthly expiry coming tomorrow, and it's a very very volatile event. So if you are new in the market, please observe and don't trade in the market. that is one piece of advice i want to give you because your entries might be correct but if you are going in the in tomorrow's expiry you are going to get whiplashed and all the shares are getting whiplashed right now and markets are moving sideways i've been telling you this again and again that markets for now after christmas they are going to move sideways so they are completely in sideways territory so these are some points that i have been making so i hope you have understood that another very important point i told you all yesterday in post market I said that markets will not able to cross in any way thirteen thousand nine eighty eight. I gave you that level, and today the high that was made is nine eighty four, nine eighty three. Now another very important point is before I miss this. See, markets don't look very good right now, right? They have been, uh, as I said, fourteen thousand will not be broken in one go, and uh, it it is not broken in one go. One very interesting observation is that markets, if they open at this point of time and still failed. to cross 14000 listen to this if markets opened at 13980 still could not go to 14000 i am not going to buy the market here expecting market will go to 14000 because it has failed earlier very simple if markets wanted to go to 14000 they would have done it right from here they would not have fallen down so if the markets are going up from here now i will still not expect markets to break 14000 markets will break 14000 convincingly only if they are sustaining above 14000 for i would say one hour if they do that that probably means markets do want to go higher but as as i said i will not be going in that direction so i want to put that view out clearly i've already alerted all of our clients to be careful in the market and wait for one two days before they taking new entries if you want to trade trade in the market trade in the market but at least give go with the next week expiry don't immediately run and rush for this week expiry just be careful that is what i want to say one more very important point i want to add see we got a spinning top doji yesterday and i have told you very a rule is simple if the spinning top doji opens higher i mean if you breaking the highs then you are bullish in the market i want to give you a very very important rule before others start to copy me and jump up with the same conclusion it's a very very simple rule of thumb if the markets are breaking the highs of the doji and on the same day they are also breaking the lows of the doji that will mean bearishness in the market so if you want to short the market today it's currently flat if you want to short the market today you will short the market below 13860 if you get a 15 minute closing below that that is a place where you want to short the market and uh, that's that's the low of today 13000 let me just check 13886 so you can short below i would say 13888 70 below these levels you can go short in the market let me go to the 15 minute chart and find out a level quickly uh 13880 is this level 86820 okay so you can short somewhere below these levels if you get a 15 minute closing below these levels then i will give you permission to short the market at this point of time i am not looking to go long in the market Uh, i i i would probably avoid the market it's a volatile trade also please continue to track reliance and hdfc bank i have told you time after time reliance is looking weak and exactly at those levels we have given you these levels for a long long time if you remember the symmetrical triangle we were the first ones to give you this triangle exactly at the confluence it has taken a resistance so for reliance to be bullish it has to break to, to 2020 if 2020 is not broken you are not going to be bullish in the market and it's a very simple rule of thumb for me if markets want to go above 14000 today reliance has to go above 2020 otherwise i am not participating so just some views also i told you yesterday hdfc bank has some room left it can give you a good opening so bank nifty did give you a very good opening today if you see bank nifty opened at 31500 as all we expected yesterday but now hdfc bank has touched that barrier now it is falling down looks like a bearish engulfing right now which opens up the space for lower level of 1360 again so please remember these points accordingly take your trades be careful because it's not about money we have been profitable for the last couple of days it's about safety in the market
I will see you in post-market analysis. Thank you so much.